Hey, I'm Jonathan Christian, and I have the pleasure today of interviewing Denise Noya Arez from the AIM Wellness Clinic in Thousand Oaks. Hi, Denise. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? I'm great. I'm looking out your window, and I'm kind of jealous at the weather. Yes. Beautiful but here. That's what California is all about, right? Yes. Oh, that's great. So, Denise, I had a great opportunity to look at your brand new website recently, and it was fantastic. And I noticed there was a number of key topics in, in your website that I'd love to talk to you today about. And, and the first one, obviously, go figure, is fertility. And um, I can see by the passion in your eyes and the photographs and all those baby pictures on the back wall that I looked at that there's something going on in your clinic that's very unique, very different, very special. And I think our readers and listeners would really like to know about that. So I have a number of questions that I prepared for you, as, as you know. Um, I've heard this phrase that you are affectionately known as a fertility godmother. And I would love to know a little bit more about that. Okay. Well, um, I believe my patients gave that name to me because I really take care of them from the beginning to the end and to post birth. And our focus is really on getting them really healthy and well and really healthy, making sure that their children are going to be as healthy as possible because whatever is going on in the parents' um, bodies as far as health is going to be transferred onto their children. So my patients kind of um, just affectionately named me that. It's, I think it's kind of sweet. It's a great, I, I mean, I think it's just like term of endearment. Like, I could almost see you in a little blue dress with wings sort of going over the crib and being a little magic wand, and I could totally see that. <laughs> So cool. So cool. Yeah. So quest another question for you then. Uh, how did you get into this? I understand you have a medical background in acupuncture, but, and, and you have your, your own children, which is awesome. Um, but what brought you into it? Was it seeing people not being able to conceive or how did this all happen? Well, that's, that's a great question. It, there's, it's kind of twofold for me. Um, when I was studying, I really wanted to find something that I knew would work that we actually had some measurable results to see. So that was part of it. And the other part of it was um, that there's not a lot of options for women that wanna have babies besides traditional Western medicine. And I wanted to be able to empower women with their own health and really help them optimize their whole, their whole being to be able to have a baby and to be able to optimize their chances of having a baby. And it just, when, it, when I first started, it just kind of, was an amazing experience to really be with be with these women and support them on their whole journey. Uh, and so that's really I just fell in love with it, and you know, fertility became my baby, if you will. <laughs> yeah. And what's so interesting is you brought the, the the Western studies that you have along with the traditional Chinese studies that you also have, and you've got this sort of blend together of this Chinese Western modality, if you like, which again I think is very unique for your practice. Thank you. Yes, I really and I really believe that um, using both of the tools we have is great. Especially Western medicine is amazing for diagnosing, and Chinese medicine is amazing for healing and recovery and getting your body ready. Even when you're working with medications, I mean, thank God we live in the world we live today where we have that option to do such things as insemination or IVF and um, so many amazing things with the Western world. So I really believe in kind of um, finding that balance and doing what's best for the patient. Wow, yeah, that's, that's so important. And what, what I find is I hear all these things that people are trying to do in terms of you know, eating clean and uh, working out and uh, just, just trying to do all the right things. And sometimes IVF is, is the right thing, but you know, with a whole combination of people trying all of these things, um, how, how often do you see great success? Well, we probably see success maybe around 60% of the time, I would say. Yeah. Wow. That, well, that's a lot higher than zero. It is. And, you know, it really just depends on the type of patients that we're seeing. So it's very, it's going to be very, very different for everybody. And we're very individualized. But in general, I would say in a year's time, about 60% of the women we see end up having babies. Wow. And I appreciate your honesty in that because we don't want to sort of let everybody know that this is an easy, quick fix and there's all, all guarantees because everybody's different. But six out of 10 times, uh, that's, 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 I, would have, I would have thought that was great, great odds. It's yeah. Great odds. So, so if that's the case then, 
you know, when would be the best time to start? I mean, do, do we go through all this treatment and see everybody first and then come to you? Or what's, what's the best way to do that? Um, sometimes that happens, but I don't think it's the best way. It's really great if, um, in, uh, in the best case scenario, if I can actually see somebody for at least three months before they actually do an IVF or they are trying to get pregnant and it's like a preconception period. It's a really great um, window of opportunity to optimize the health of your sperm and your eggs and just to really get healthy in general. So um, I also like to really help people on their, on, their, um, on their pathway, if you will, because a lot of women come and they, don't, they're, they question what their next step should be and what they should do. A lot of women don't even know where to begin. And I really love um, helping them find the right path for them. That's so awesome. Uh, and it's interesting, you said a lot of women. Obviously, you see a lot of men too, and I know we're going to talk about that on, on, another, uh, on another call. Uh, but typ typically, um, so you're, you're suggesting that people almost come and see you first. It would be great if they came and see me first, and then if they needed to see a, a doctor, then I would definitely recommend that they see somebody. But I just don't want to waste have people waste their time. And it's a very emotional, very time time consuming process. And a lot of times women come in and they've already done several failed IVFs and they wish they started here earlier. And um, the doctors that I work with, who I have great relationships with, usually tell me they wait for the patient to ask. Um, I'm not sure why, but mm -hmm. that seems to be um, the, what the standard. So I would, I would, in a best case scenario, would love for them to start here first and then I can send them to their doctor and send them for a diagnostic test. So that way we can work together uh, sooner. Yeah, that's awesome. And, and I know you're saying to me, a lot of the referrals you get are actually from local doctors who sort of say, you need to see Denise as part of this right. in her practice. So that's, that's so good that you're working in conjunction with the medical profession and the fact they're referring um, them to come to you because they know how powerful and potent you know, your system is, if you like, to really make a difference. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. That's cool. So if someone's in an IVF program already, mm -hmm. is that something you can help them with at the same time? Yes, it just, it's just going to be different. So um, we definitely can help through the whole process. There's been studies that show, you know, even doing acupuncture before and after just the embryo transfer is helpful. Um, we like to see people as soon as possible, but everybody's in a different stage. So we are always adjusting and fine tuning for whatever the needs are. Yeah. And it's not just obviously acupuncture that you can do. You, you can help them with a whole regime of, of, of stress reduction and wellness with different supplements that you guys recommend as well, right? Yes. I think that's something that's different about our clinic is we really focus on the whole person. We, we really dive into nutrition. We really dive into mindfulness. We do acupuncture, herb supplements, and really figure out what's going on with you. We look at your, um, at your blood results and see if, if you're deficient in anything, and really just to make sure that you can optimize your chances. And really, again, focusing on overall wellness, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. going to translate into an increased fertility. Wow. Now, this, this all sounds fantastic, and, and everybody wants to be a mommy, and, and I, or dad, you know, or mom and dad, or mom and mom, whatever that you know, looks like these days, I understand that. And of course, everybody, I mean, that's often an all consuming passion, but obviously finance comes into this at some point as well. And, and some people are saying, well, that sounds great, but I have no idea how much it's cost. I may not even want to call in case it, it's too much for them. So I, obviously I'm sure every case is completely different. Um, but first off, is, is there any way that any of the work that you do is covered under extended health or anything? It really depends, Jonathan, on our insurance here. So Sometimes the um, insurances cover a portion of it, and it really just depends on the person's plan. So what we do here right now anyways is um, our office manager calls to verify the insurance to really help, help you or help the person really get um, uh, the benefits so that we, we, we will bill the insurance company and they'll get reimbursed. And um, you know it just depends on really what's going on for their insurance company, but we do everything we can to help them. Yeah, and I'm sure you're very upfront about how much the treatment might cost, how long it might last, and, and, you're, and so everybody's not, 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 uh, not late in the room thinking, oh, that was great, but I have no idea what I'm walking into sort of thing here. Right, right. We have some 
different programs which are helpful and then we'll do individual treatments and um, they can get an idea of what's, how it's going to look for them. Absolutely. Yeah, that's fantastic. So let, let's just take a step back. Somebody's looking at this. I'm not sure whether to even get pregnant or ready to start a family. Could, could you give me a few tips that everybody should be doing right now just to help themselves get a little bit more healthy just before they even start this whole process? What would you recommend? My biggest tip would be to really limit the sugar, eat high quality fats, drink a lot of water, eat a lot of vegetables. And um, I mean, that's, that makes such a huge difference in itself. Um, trying to be more mindful of, um, in general, like to, um, adding a mindfulness practice to help manage all the stress, stressful situations. And, um, you know, the supplements are a little bit more tricky. I wish I could just throw some out there. But a prenatal vitamin, absolutely. Uh, not a multivitamin. I actually have a lot of women that come in that are on a multivitamin. And you really want to be on a prenatal vitamin. So that would be really helpful. And uh, men have prenatal vitamins too, preconception vitamin. The, the men should be healthy as well. They seem to get left out a lot of the picture. Yes. So that's really important. And I go back several decades from when we had children, but I, I certainly remember the first thing the doctor would recommend as soon as my wife had come in with the test was, was folic acid. Yes, that's very true. Yep, it's still still important, which is why the prenatal it, and the prenatals nowadays have enough folate. Okay. And there's different. There's actually different types of folate. So you want to try to get a not a folic acid, but more of a, a folate or a methylated folate. Okay. And can any of this be found in, in in vegetables or any particular fruits or anything that people could be eating? Lots of greens. Lots of green vegetables. Yeah. Everybody loves their greens. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Denise, this sounds great, and I'm sure there's lots of people saying, okay, I want to know more. Um, what's the best way of people getting in touch with you? Well, they can visit our website, aimwellnessclinic.com, or you can call us at 805-497-2625. And also, um, I see you've got a really active Facebook page now. Yes, we do. So that, that I mean, that, that's how I saw you in the first place. I thought that was great. And then I also noticed that you're doing some seasonal work with almost like the general public, if you like, around some seasonal detoxes as well. Yes, we're doing seasonal detoxes and we do them all the time actually in our clinic, which is how we got started doing the seasonal detoxes. But um, because it's actually the second step in our Aim to Get Pregnant program for, I'd say at least 95% of the women, I like them to do a really gentle detox. Excellent. So when people get in touch with you, are they able to sort of just have a first connection with you, you know, on the house, if you like, through a phone conversation or a, or a form that they fill in? Or what, what, what would be the best way to start? Um, well, if they want to see if they want to, um, if we're the right place to help them, then they can do a free 15 minute consultation. Or they can even sign up for a strategy session where they'll have to qualify for and fill out some questions to see if they've qualify for that and during the strategy session we'll figure out uh, what their next best step would be awesome awesome well Denise thank you so much for your time today that's been fantastic and uh, ju just to repeat again it's aimwellnessclinic.com yes awesome thousand oaks california thank you John. Hey, you're welcome. Bye. we'll take you again soon bye-bye